Hello everyone and welcome back! Every coffee enthusiast knows that outside the coffee shop with big expensive machines, the only other way to make good coffee is with a coffee pot. But the problem with coffee is that you need some pressure and heat to release the creamy caffeine oils from the ground beans. Alongside the heat generated in the chamber, there's also a certain pressure to maintain. This is a fantastic side-by-side -side comparison, and the only difference between the left and the right is that the right coffee pot is being pressed by a 3D printed damper. The differences are incredible. The right is coming out with a strong dark color, and creamy oils come out straight after. And the uh, left side looks like my grandma's urine sample. Notice how the pressure is not being maintained, it's bubbling all over the place. And the only reason is that it wasn't pressed with the temper. Look at that nice cream on the right side. This coffee will keep you running for at least two days. Now that we know temper is the way to go, the question arises. Do we need expensive tempers? And you probably already guessed that the answer is no. This next part, I'm going to take some measurements that would guide my design in creating a coffee temper. And since I'm already making one for my regular size pot, I also have this mini pot I'm going to take measurements of. I am using Fusion 360 for this design. It's a fantastic tool that's very easy to learn and you will see how in pretty much one minute I was able to create these unique shapes and send them to print. If anyone wants to download these files, please comment below and if enough people comment, I will definitely upload them for free for anyone to download and print. If you're not a fan of Fusion yet, feel free to skip the next chapter. Using the measurements I took earlier, I'm creating a circle which I'll extrude to a cylinder. That would be the base or uh, bottom of the tamper. To make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing, I'll use the fillet tool to round the top edge. I'll create another circle on top and extrude that into a cylinder shape also. Now I want to create one-sided or one-way ridges so my fingers won't slip down while I press it. I'm going to draw a little sketch on the side of the cylinder and use a fusion tool called Revolve, which is basically the same as the extrude tool, only it revolves around an axis. See the side cut here? That looks perfect. Let's use the pattern tool to replicate this three times upwards and three times downwards. Boom! This looks like a very fine detail. I wonder how it will feel in my fingers after it prints. Let's make it look a bit more slick. Adding a fillet to the top, nice. Adding one in the middle, nice. For the little pot, I'm pretty much going to copy this design and quickly change only the bottom to fit the sizes. Side by side, you can see I made them to be the same height at 80 mils each. I'm choosing to go with a coffee bronze color for the little pot and an ocean blue color for the big pot. The plastic type I'm going with is PETG because it is food safe and can withstand the heat from the dishwashing machine. I will make sure to keep these coffee tempers close to the pots because they look like butt plugs. In conclusion, the prints came out great. I'm very happy with the results. The design works like a dream. It's very, very simple. So the answer is no. You don't need an expensive, fancy schmancy coffee temper that costs over $100. You need an expensive 3D printer that costs over $1,500. Enjoy!